Here are the basic principles for current, voltage, and resistance for parallel circuits. Let's first consider current. Basically, the total current flowing in must equal the current flowing out. This is regardless whether the incoming current diverges or incoming currents converge. In circuitry, the total current flowing into a junction must equal the sum of currents flowing out. This is to obey the conservation of charge. This is also referred to as Kirchhoff's current law. The second consideration for parallel circuits is for potential change or voltage. No matter the path taken, the total change in potential must be the same. The formal statement of this by Kirchhoff's voltage law is that the sum of voltage around any closed path in a circuit must be zero. This is equivalent to the statement of conservation of energy. You may think about this as going down a gentle path and hence going down in potential energy. When you climb up a different path but to the same starting point, you regain the exact same potential energy. Hence, in the closed path, you will have a net change in potential energy of zero. For circuits, these considerations have implications for equivalent resistance. If we apply Ohm's law to the resulting divided currents and knowing that the voltage is the same, we get an equivalent resistance 
that is very different from the algebraic sum of resistances. Qualitatively, the current can be divided qualitatively you can divide up the current flow among several different resistances in parallel the current will choose the path of least resistance The mathematical relationship between resistance and current will no longer be one-to-one, -one, but must be examined depending on how the resistances are divided. Examples of Kirchhoff's laws will be covered in a different video. They will cover the use of both the current and voltage laws with the strategy of combining elements into equivalence.